Hello, my name is Svets Gern from Team Sotomit and this is my jungle guide to Graves. So Graves in solo queue is a really good pick because uh, he doesn't really have any bad matchups and you can pretty much dominate the early game and if you get some kills you can really snowball the entire game. Graves has a really good clearing where you basically take no damage at all so I give him a 10 in clearing and his ganking is not as good because you pretty much rely on your team to CC them because you have no CC yourself so I give him a 6. But he still gets a 6 because he has so much damage, so if you get onto someone, they will die. And solo Q rating, I give him an 8, because if he gets some kills, you can really carry the game yourself. On Graves, you have a lot more options in what you want to do early game. You can go for a standard level 4 clear and be higher level than the enemy jungler, because you never take any damage, so you never have to base. Or you can go for a level 3 in base on the enemy jungler, because you're pretty much always stronger if you can hit your Q and pretty versatile in the early game because he's just so strong that the enemy kinda has to fear you. So on Griff, since you have no CC, you typically wanna go to the lane you have which has CC, where if the enemy doesn't have a dash or something like that where they can't escape, you can get a free kill. Or if you have red buff, you have CC yourself kind of, so if you come from behind the enemy, they're pretty much dead because you're ranged and you can keep out attacking them while they run to tower. So if you counter gank like top lane for example, you should pretty much win all 2v2s because the enemy has to focus you since you're a primary damage dealer. If the enemy doesn't focus you, you can be able to clean up the whole fight. So team fights on Graves is the pretty much the harder part about this champion because it's pretty hard to get in the fight kind of because your range is so low. You want to try and poke them with your Q or if you see a good opportunity to hit a lot of people with your ults then you want to go for it. In team fights, you want to look out for the enemy's assassins or whichever they have that deals a lot of damage. But uh, you can deal a lot of damage to the enemy frontline as well. So just like a normal AD carry, you can hit the frontline and try to snipe the backline with your ult. And the smoke screen Graves has is just really good. You just throw it out in the team fight like kind of random. But if you hit anyone, they will get kind of dizzy and not uh, look where this fight is going. So a good tip on Graves is you want to fight in the jungle because there's a lot of walls. So you can easily get your Q to kick off from a wall and get a one shot on enemy team. Okay, another tip on Graves is be careful of tower diving the enemy because the tower, if the enemy stands behind the tower, your only spells that, or anything that can actually hit the enemy is your W and ult because the tower absorbs your auto attack and you can't really hit your Q. So on Graves I like to go 9 AD marks, 3 attack speed quints, uh, 9 uh, armor seals and 9 magic resist gloves. I know a lot of people like to go 15 AD like a normal rune page but I feel like the attack speed on Graves just makes it a lot easier to play. So attack speed on Graves doesn't really make him attack faster. Uh, it kinda does but it doesn't make him reload faster so you get your 2 attacks off quicker than you would normally and I just like being able to burst my opponent like that. So on Graves you wanna go 12, 18, 0 but with Bounty Hunter instead of Oppressor because you don't have any CC yourself so you would need to rely on your teammates but it's just better to go Bounty Hunter I think. And in Cunning you wanna go for the Assassin because you can always go and duel the enemy in that jungle because you're so strong. And Precision and Thunderlord, just because these two makes any champion deal so much damage. So on Graves you want to start with Q in the jungle and then take E for the better clear. And you want to max Q, then E and then ult W. So maxing E over W because the E's cooldown get reduced per level so it's it's more important to have uh, more dashes so you can't get caught. So on Graves you want to go for the warrior enchantment because you're not a tank. And after that you want to go for Yumus if you're really snowballing or if the enemy has like an AP carry which, which can burst you, you want to go for more of a Malmortius and then after that you want to go Yumus. So building more of a Malmortius on Graves just this item makes you able to deal so much damage while you're still being super tanky if the enemy has any AP dealers. On Grace, you wanna go for 
boots of swiftness because these boots got pretty much buffed in season 6 and since you don't rely on attack speed you don't want to go for the attack speed boots but uh, just being able to run around the map super quick is really good. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lolclass.com.